And now, Fairfax Breakfast Club with your host, Basil Lemba. Welcome to the Fairfax Breakfast Club show. My name is Basil Lemba and I will be your host. The Fairfax Breakfast Club is a weekly program in which we bring to you valuable and workable know-how you can use to improve your networking skills and grow your business. We always start the show with a quote. And today's quote is, information technology and business are becoming inextricably interwoven. I don't think anybody can talk meaningfully about one without talking about the other. And that is from Bill Gates. With us today in the studio, we have someone who specializes in information technology. And his name is Jared Gold. Hello, Jared. Hi, Basile. Thank you very much for having me. My pleasure. So tell us what you do. Sure. So what I do is uh, websites for small businesses. Mm -hmm. So for a relatively fixed fee, mm -hmm. I can make a great looking website, mm -hmm. looks good on every device, and then I show the uh, end user or customer how to update it themselves in a browser with no extra software or technical skills required. Okay. So you do mainly websites? That's correct. Okay. Do you do, do, you do applications also? or? Uh uh, ba basically uh, just websites. Just websites. Yeah. Uh, how do you get into that business? Well, uh, so I've always been interested in IT, and I have a business background uh, from George Mason, but my degree also has some technical aspects. Mm -hmm. So I naturally got into IT. I, I got a job right out of college, uh, but I've always been interested in entrepreneurship, so I sort of started this thing on the side uh, in April. Mm -hmm. And oh, this last April? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Uh, I graduated in December of 2012. Okay. So I sort of been doing this as a little side project, mm -hmm. and I realized I like making websites, and I think there's a lot of uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for small businesses to really get their digital presence uh, in line mm -hmm. in order to, to where it needs to be to uh, sustain their business. Okay. How do you go about getting customers? Uh, that's a great question. So right now, I'm still I'm still working on that. So okay. I'm going to lots of various uh, networking meetups. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, your breakfast club was great. Okay. I recommend everyone goes to that. Okay, good. And uh, as well as just joining meetup.com has been very good. There's a lot of entrepreneurial meetups. Mm -hmm. I've thought about joining BNI, mm -hmm. uh, and I hope to start a blog in the near future. Okay. Uh, more on that later as I as I figure out that idea, but. In general, just lots of networking things, and maybe hopefully, uh, like what you do, is sort of having my own things that bring together people okay. um, that can that can further connections, uh, both for me and others, and and everyone benefits. So I'm still working exactly how to get channels mm -hmm. uh, or, or sales channels, but right now it, it's mainly face-to-face uh, -face networking. Okay, which is good. It's good enough. Uh, do you have people working for you in the business, or is your is your only you working in your business now? Oh, uh, right now it's just me. Uh, I hope to eventually get to the point to where I have enough customers to where I'm not building the sites myself, mm -hmm. but training others to do it. Okay. Uh, hopefully recent college graduates or something mm -hmm. or current students looking for internship roles and uh, hopefully hopefully want to scale it that way. Okay. Now take us to the process of making a website. How do you do that? All of us we hear about websites are being made. Can you just explain to us how one goes about making a website? Not that uh, you give all your secret, but I'm just. <laughs> Are you saying how how I personally would do it, or how, how do you make? How does one make one? Okay, sure. So there's a lot of different ways to make a website. Okay. Uh, you can make it from scratch, just with coding it yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty tedious, though. Mm -hmm. um, for people, and that requires the most technical skill. Uh, I don't try to make my websites by hand. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be too time consuming gotcha. and be costly to the customer. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, there's other ways like content management systems. So I use an online one, uh, but there's a lot of variations of one, such as WordPress, oh, okay. uh, Drupal, mm -hmm. Joomla. Mm -hmm. uh, those are very popular and very customizable, uh, but that also requires a lot of technical know-how. Uh, they're time consuming, and the way things work is the more complex a uh, anything in IT is, mm -hmm. uh, the, the more likely that it can break or something can go wrong. So you sort of want to find a medium mm -hmm. between customization mm -hmm. and usability and reliability. So that's what I found. So I sort of have found an online content management system that allows both a lot of customization, but not too much to where a lot of things can go wrong. It's, mm -hmm. it's all in one platform that's uh, easy for the uh, customer to update on their own uh, once I show them. 
Okay, I got you. So you do it to them, you put it together, and then they can follow up, do it by themselves? Exactly. For the first few months while they're still learning and getting used to it, mm -hmm. uh, we can provide support for free. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, uh, hopefully they're familiar enough to make a decent amount of changes by themselves. It's very, it's very user friendly. How much time before they are quote unquote by their own, on their own? Uh, well, it sort of depends on how much time they put into updating it. Mm -hmm. Different websites require a different amount of maintenance. Sure. Uh, after, at the end of every website, when I transition it to the customer, mm -hmm. I have about a one hour uh, web sort of seminar where they mm -hmm. watch my screen okay. and I tell them how to, uh, this is online by the way, so they, I mm -hmm. share my screen with them okay. and then I tell them, uh, I show them the basic functions, how things work, explain the in and outs without getting uh, you know, throwing in too many details. Mm -hmm. and, and by the end, at least with my responses so far with, with my previous customers, they've been very happy with how that's gone and they've really enjoyed sort of having the, uh, taking over it on their own because small business owners want control of their websites. They don't want to outsource everything. They, they want to uh, have control of it somehow. They don't mm -hmm. want to feel like they're sort of held hostage by a uh, web developer, which, which many of them I think feel like. <laughs> Do they feel, or they are, hell is on stage? Yeah, yeah, you know, fifty dollars to update your contact information or whatever, and it's it's hard to it's hard to keep paying those fees. Uh -huh. Not every, by no means, is every web developer, or web designer like that, mm -hmm. but that is a it seems to be a common trend al uh, among the people that are unhappy with their websites. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, excellent. So now tell me, what is your biggest challenge so far? So far, mm -hmm. it would probably be finding customers. At first, mm -hmm. uh, my biggest challenge was figuring out the scope. Of what the business would do. I originally was all IT and web services for small businesses, mm -hmm. and then I sort of pivoted to just websites. I think that was the most useful. Everyone needs a website. Not mm -hmm. everyone necessarily needs uh, complicated IT procedures or systems mm -hmm. or things like that, but everyone needs a good website. It looks good on all devices because the world is going on, the world is online, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not waiting for your small business. There's, you know, a, a website is a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if your website looks good, uh, looks better than your competitors, it's quite possible that people choose you first because they're digital. For, the they a like website is a digital first impression. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, hmm. so that's what. So, so my my challenge, my first challenge, mm -hmm. the biggest one was figuring out the scope, exactly what I would do, mm -hmm. and the value that I would bring because there's a lot of web people. Mm -hmm. And then as of now, and for the foreseeable future, it will be getting customers. Uh, but once I build up my portfolio, uh, I feel like things will snowball, assuming I get good, good referrals mm -hmm. and whatnot, and people are happy with the work I've done. I feel like a lot of that spreads by word of mouth. Okay. So I'm confident that once I get the ball rolling a little bit, it will, it will continue to roll. <laughs> How, what's good? Okay, that's good, I understand. How did you start a business? I'm sure young people watching us say, well, this guy look like he's a young guy from a school, fresh from school. They probably wonder how do you went about how did you go about creating starting your own business? Can you tell us that? Sure. So there's a lot of fantastic resources that are online now that mm -hmm. people didn't have before. So uh, the the best place to look is definitely the internet. Uh, there's a lot of online learning resources such as uh, for, like free self-paced courses. Mm -hmm. uh, so Coursera.org. Course one? Uh, Coursera, so like course mm -hmm. and then raw.org, okay. all one word. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also Udacity. How do you spell that? How do you spell Coursera? Uh, C O U uh -huh. uh, R S E uh -huh. R A dot. Uh, I think it's dot org. Okay. So Coursera.org, mm -hmm. and then Udacity, U D A C I T Y mm -hmm. dot com, mm -hmm. and they both have a lot of fantastic courses mm -hmm. uh, with both technical skills and non-technical skills. Uh, some of which are even directly how to start a business. Mm -hmm. And those are both great learning resources. And then there's a lot of paid resources such as uh, teamtreehouse.com mm -hmm. and uh, sites like that where you can learn more technical skills if you're interested in, in that kind of business. Mm -hmm. But there's also some resources on how to start a business. So there's so many reading materials mm -hmm. uh, online, uh, free or otherwise. Mm -hmm. And it's just about, I think the, the biggest thing is just doing it and seeing what happens. Uh, at the very least, you know, you, you have to get over a little bit of potential embarrassment. You know, if your idea doesn't work or if people don't like it, you have to be able to accept negative criticism okay. uh, as opposed to constructive criticism. So you're going to get that, but just go out and do mm -hmm. and learn as much as possible and meet as many people as possible. And eventually, if you work hard enough and you have some sort of value you can bring to others, 
you know, you can make it happen and be successful, I think. Mm -hmm. When you say meet people, meet people who help you out to create the business or meet people in terms of getting uh, customers? Uh, I would say both. So just meeting people in general is mm -hmm. helpful. You, yeah, you, don't, sure, have to, you yeah. don't have to sell them. They don't have to be customers. Maybe mm -hmm. they know people that eventually they'll refer you to. But even so, meeting people explores you to lots of different things, lets you share ideas. Mm -hmm. You can form a partnership to where they bounce ideas off of you, you bounce ideas off of them. Gotcha. Okay. So don't just look for customers. Just try to meet people in general. In general. Gotcha. And okay. if mm -hmm. they want to be your customer, mm -hmm. and they or if, rather if they trust you and they like what you're doing, mm -hmm. they'll want to be your customer or they'll want their friends to be your customer. Okay. So it's hand in hand. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Makes sense. Definitely. And what is your biggest success, you would say? My biggest success so yes. far? Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't experienced any monumental success. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, the websites that I've made, uh, it felt great making them. One okay. of my first websites was for a, a local restaurant and bar in mm -hmm. Arlington called Spider Kelly's. I'm not sure if you've heard of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're, they're a pretty popular bar in Arlington. Mm -hmm. And you know, one of my bigger successes was creating a website for them, and I think I did a great job, and they were very happy with it. Okay. And that was one of my first websites. I wasn't necessarily 100% sure that I could deliver exactly what I said I could because mm -hmm. I, it was so You've early. Never done it before. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So so early, and I and I did it, and I was really happy with it, and I sort of showcased it to everyone. And that was probably my biggest success was just proving uh, to myself and others that I could uh, deliver exactly what I said. And and now. Uh, I, I know my capabilities mm -hmm. and I know what value I can bring to others and that makes it a lot easier for me to sell and a lot easier for me to uh, understand what I'm getting into mm -hmm. and help others see it as well. Sure. Would you say that that boosted your confidence? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, in general with ch trying your own thing mm -hmm. or entrepreneurship of any kind, you need not not arrogance, but enough confidence True. in your ability to deliver. To deliver exactly mm -hmm. to to deliver and sell, mm -hmm. and they're interrelated because hopefully you're not a terrible li you know hopefully you're not a liar and you tell someone to their face hey I can do this and then you don't do it and you mm -hmm. take the money. Mm -hmm. So I think they go hand in hand. You need to know exactly the value that you bring, mm -hmm. uh, and you can confidently sell that, mm -hmm. and it, they play off each other. I think. Okay. Excellent. What are your future plans? Uh, well, I have a lot of different possible avenues. So for now, I'm going to be doing this. Uh, and another side effect of me doing web design is I get to further practice my skills and in uh, HTML and CSS and JavaScript, so uh, what's known as front-end okay. development. So I've always been interested in that and how a user feels uh, on a website or an app or whatever. And uh, it, it has to do with marketing and strategy and things like that. And I've always been interested in, in business and technology and the combination of them. Okay. Uh, like you said in, in the beginning the with your quote. Uh, they, <laughs> that was on Bill Gates, by the way. Yeah, I mean, they, they tie perfectly together uh -huh. and they're, it's not going anywhere. They're going to keep tying perfectly together. Mm -hmm. So I'm very interested in, in that and I hope to improve my skills and maybe eventually uh, start a different kind of business, maybe a, a web app or something, I don't know, that's down the road, or, okay. or get involved in, in startups in similar capacities where it's uh, visuals and strategy and branding and, and, and website things. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different avenues to explore. We'll, well you we'll have see how time to explore them. Yeah, right now, right now it's the website <laughs> business. You're not in a rush. Yeah. Now let's do some, some more websites. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you got the, who was uh, fortunate to have us, to have you at our Breakfast Club event. Can you tell the audience over here your experience of the Breakfast Club event? Sure. So uh, it was a little bit early. I'm not much of an early morning person. <laughs> For, folks, he's talking about 7.30. It was not that early. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not an early Don't morning scared. person. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, sorry for any confusion there. So, uh, so it was early for me, but it was it was very well worth it. Uh, I got there. It was very easy to find. Parking wasn't an issue for anyone worried about that. Okay. Uh, right in Fairfax. And as soon as I walked in, I was greeted by friendly people. I saw you. Came up, shook your hand, because mm -hmm. uh, I just met you the previous night. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and yeah, I mean, everyone was very friendly, very helpful. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of cool either leads directly or at least people I would be interested in working with and helping their business. Sure. No one, everyone there had a, had a very different background mm -hmm. and no one there was someone I would consider to be a boring person or someone untrustworthy, someone I wouldn't want to work with. Mm -hmm. Everyone you. there I could see myself working with, okay, uh, either them helping me or I'm helping them or both. Okay. So it was a great experience, uh, nice little refreshments and breakfast and mm -hmm. what, what was cool was your little intro presentation. Mm -hmm. um, 
it's, you were there saying some of uh, the opportunities for advertising in the area, mm -hmm. but also you were trying to, with every meeting, it, it sounds like you have like the quote, like what you did on the show, and then you mm -hmm. go into that and have mm -hmm. like a little lesson for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think that's a cool experience that the other networking groups that I've been to haven't had. Okay. It wasn't really learning, it was more networking. So mm -hmm. this had a little bit of learning, mm -hmm. and most of networking. Mm -hmm. And then the keynote speaker at the beginning, mm -hmm. I thought was, was very cool, and it sort of was uh, there, uh, specifically that guy's experience mm -hmm. with uh, entrepreneurship and how he got started mm -hmm. and how he came from the corporate world mm -hmm. uh, doing something totally different yeah. and now he designs suits. Yeah. So I, I thought the whole thing was very rewarding. I definitely want to come back in the future. Okay. Uh, it was definitely one of the better networking groups that I've been to. Okay, good. Well, thank you. Very glad to hear that. Folks, referring to the Fairfax Breakfast Club, which we host the second and third Thursday of the month and at, the 39, at Old Town Hall in Fairfax, 3999 University Drive. Uh, not too early. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Even for people that aren't morning people, it's, it's worth it. It's a little bit early, but it's worth it. Definitely. We're looking forward to have you there. Just trying to, You can see our website there, which is blnbc.com. And while I'm on it, I also want to talk to you about the next expo we have coming up on December 6th. We'll be at the Maison Inn at George Maison University. So we are going to have about 100 exhibitors there, and we're expecting four to 500 business people. Okay, so now tell me, this is a question that I have for you. I'm interested in hearing what you say. So sure. now you have a business. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're doing a website. So when you were in school, you learned something. Mm -hmm. What you learn, does it help you in your business? Or how much of it, does, how much of it helps you right now in the business?